Hello everyone, welcome to Pauline's place. And I'm in the middle of a beautiful setting here in Kerry Kerry. And the calendar tells me that my wish, perhaps it's your wish for people you love, is that each and every dream comes true. Well, I'm not so sure about that. But I think that could be a wish. But when it comes to prayer, there's an element of a reality that comes in. And I want to talk to you about that today in this beautiful setting which I want to show you. Because in my heart, I know that outside this idyllic world, there are challenges facing me that I have to deal with in my thinking now. And being a Christian person, I love to read the Bible. And one of the things that has come to me from reading the Bible is that in the real world of Jesus Christ, he lived in the midst of his enemies. And on the cross where he died in abject poverty without any kind of mercy, surrounded by his mockers and enemies, he had nothing but love. And to, to me it says that my life calls me to be in the middle of trouble and in the middle of people who might not want me to succeed or to be able to influence others. And I think that's the part of many people, not just Christians, but perhaps all people who want to make a difference, make a change. And I think that's you, no matter what your circumstance. You want to make some kind of difference. So as much as I want your dreams, every single one of them that you hold dear to come true, perhaps the prayer is that the dreams that count most will come about. And with a lot of effort and a lot of support and help from one another. I'm proud to be a part of life that is a little bit messy. And I want to, in 2021, commit myself no matter who surrounds me, to doing some good. So let me share in this idyllic world because I want to leave a prayer with you. I can hear the sound of trickling water. Loving God, thank you for water. May it come to all who are thirsty. Living water, your hope and spirit. Loving God, I look at the beautiful, natural world and I pray that for every prisoner, for every person who feels they're in some sort of spiritual prison, that the natural love and freedom that God gives will come to them, giving them the chance to see possibilities. Hear the prayers of your people everywhere in the world. Let your cry come unto them. Hear my prayer. This is Pauline's Place saying goodbye to each of you.